Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to do a text similarity search with Milvus. Milvus is an open source vector database. I'll show you an example in Python. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. If you haven't watched my previous Milvus tutorial, please do so because this one is an upgrade of that one. In the previous tutorial, we used Atu to create a collection named Movies. In this tutorial, we will do a text similarity search with Milvus using the Movies collection. Text similarity search is probably one of the most widely used use cases for vector databases. This is what vector databases are all about. You'll see what I mean. Open the Docker desktop app and make sure that all three Milvus containers are running. As you can see, my Atu container is also running, but that's only because I will use Atu in this tutorial to show you some things. To run the Python script, which I will show you later, you don't need to run the Atu container. You only need to run all three Milvus containers. Okay, so let's look at what we currently have in our Milvus database using Atu, a graphical user interface for Milvus. If you open localhost on port 8000, you should see the Atu dashboard. Here we have the movies collection that we created in the previous tutorial. As you can see, I have two collections, but this one is blurred because it's irrelevant for this tutorial. Inside the movies collection, we have 10 imaginary movie descriptions, which we added in the previous tutorial. Now everything is prepared to do a text similarity search. Okay, let's look at the code. We will use two things here. Spacey and Milvus Python SDK named PyMilvus. We will use the Spacey pre-trained model, more precisely the large one. Here we connect to the Milvus server. This code is divided into try, except, finally, blocks. We try to execute the code to get the text similarity results inside the try block. If anything goes wrong, we want to print the error. We handle this inside the accept block. If the user wants to stop using the script, we want to disconnect from the Milvus server. We handle this inside the finally block. Now let's look at the code where the magic happens. This script is designed so that the user can describe a movie he or she would like to watch and then get the text similarity results back. For this, we are using the input, which accepts the user's input. This is how we get the user's description. For example, the user could type, I want to watch a comedy. It's important to mention that the user is asked to describe the movie in a loop. In other words, the script doesn't end after the user describes one movie. After the first description, the user can describe another movie and so on. But the loop will break if the user types exit. In this case, the code will execute the finally block and disconnect from the Milvus server. So, let's say the user describes a movie. The vector similarity search in general is done by comparing vectors. When we compare two vectors, we can calculate the distance between them. The smaller the distance between two vectors, the more similar the data is. In our case, the smaller the distance between two vectors, the more similar the sentences are. If we go back to the Atu, you can see that we already have vectors for movie descriptions. We calculated them in the previous Milvus tutorial. This is the vector for this description. This is the vector for this description. This is the vector for this description, and so on. As I explain, our Python script will compare the vector of the user's input with these vectors. Now, let's look at the code where the magic happens. Here we change the user's input to a 128 dimensional vector. Now we have the vector of the user's input. The next thing we need to set are search parameters for similarity search. I simply copied and pasted these parameters from the official Milvus documentation. If we go on, we will use the collection named Movies. I showed you this collection in R2 before, but this is how we connect to the collection programmatically. We finally get to the point where we do a similarity search. As you can see, we will do a similarity search on the variable collection. In other words, we will do a similarity search on the collection named movies. Let's break down these similarity search parameters. The first one is data. Here we set the vector we want to search with. We want this to be the vector of the user's input which we prepared here. The second one is ANS field. Here we set the name of the field in the collection to search on. We want this to be the field named vector. If we look at A2, it's this one. 
We want to do a similarity search on vectors. The third one is param, which we prepared here. The fourth one is limit. Here we set the number of results to return. Let's set this to three, meaning we will get the three most similar results back. The fifth one is output fields. Here we set the name of the field to return. We want this to be the field name description. If we look at ATU, it's this one. Why? Once the code finds the three most similar results, what do we want to show the user? We want to show the descriptions of the three most similar results. We could, for example, return the vectors of the three most similar results. But that would not make sense, since vectors are not meaningful to us humans. The last thing we need to do is display search results. We want to get a numbered list where there is a description and the distance in brackets. Now it's time to run the Python example. First, let's describe the movie in one word, comedy. Here we have the three most similar results. The most similar movie description is the one mentioning a comedy, of course. As you can see, the second is a thriller and the third is a horror. Some other descriptions from the database, for example, a drama might be more relevant and expected to be in the second or third place. But you have to keep in mind that this is a very basic example of a vector similarity search. If you want to get better results, you would need to tweak the code. You can see that the distance between the word comedy and this description is 712. Second, let's describe the movie in two words. Hilarious comedy. Here we have the three most similar results. Again, we have the same three descriptions as before, with a small but important difference. The distance fell from 712 to 266. It's because we have given a more precise description. Third, let's describe the movie with an identical sentence. A hilarious comedy filled with witty banter, slapstick humor, and outrageous antics. Here we have the three most similar results but the distance between this sentence and this description is zero. Why? Because they are identical. It's expected. Done. Impressive, right? That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.